welcome to this update video. I hope you're doing really great this morning. Now, we'll be talking about what is going on in terms of weather conditions, but uh, first we're delving into the latest earthquakes across the Caribbean region. Now, it's been quite active in the Northeastern Caribbean. Not exactly something surprising to see, but there have been quite a few earthquakes over the past 24 hours. And so this is uh, a map pinpointing the epicenter uh, the epicenters of all these recent earthquakes. Look at that cluster offshore, the Virgin Islands. And the strongest shaken yesterday was an estimated magnitude 4.9 shaken uh, in the morning offshore, the British Virgin Islands. And so this quake likely has been felt by some persons. You can let me know in the comments. And there have also been a few in and around Puerto Rico, nothing surprising to see. Most are very weak. And also uh, a couple in the Dominican Republic all of those fall within the magnitude 3 range thereabout. So again, not exactly something very surprising, but uh, having very strong earthquakes such as those magnitude 6 plus are kind of occasional for the Caribbean region. However, earthquakes can happen at any time and as such, we definitely uh, always have to keep the tips on what we should do in the back of our minds for when they do happen because they're unpredictable. So. It is an earthquake prone region and there have definitely been quite a few over the past 24 hours guys and so it's possible that there could be more today let's get back to the weather conditions here we are seeing that low pressure system swirling well offshore of the united states but there is some severe weather still moving through some areas such as parts of eastern texas headed to louisiana even southern arkansas and then up to the great lakes we can see that there is some activity moving through as we look out uh, just offshore Africa, we can see that there's a lot of convection right within that area. So the uh, intertropical convergence zone is getting quite active. Now, as we zoom to the Caribbean region, here we have a better look at what's been happening over the past uh, the past few hours. And we can see there was that blob over Guatemala with some thunderstorms that's been pushing off to the east and now over Belize. So uh, some areas in Belize maybe have received a few showers this morning. I think too crazy right now but some additional rainfall is definitely likely across the caribbean region as we head through today and as i speak let's go on to the forecast from euro here we can see this map is pretty colorful in some areas and the more color we see more rain is expected so across much of the northern islands the leeward islands including anguilla st martin st Barthelme, st kitts and nevis st bas st Eustatius, even headed towards montserrat antica barbuda the Virgin Islands as well, some spots in Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, Haiti, Jamaica, even Cuba and near the Cayman Islands, there could be some downpours today. Some, er uh, some areas may even experience some thunderstorms and some heavier rain. So that is going to be possible, much not really expected for most of the Bahamas and especially the Turks and Caicos Islands. Towards Central America, it is likely that there's going to be some additional rain as we head through today across many areas the yucatan which includes belize some spots in guatemala el salvador honduras nicaragua costa rica panama so yeah there could be some additional rain today and then for northern south america colombia some spots in venezuela the guyanas as well may experience some periods of heavy rain but things will be on the drier side for the abc islands and parts of the lesser and to least especially as we look toward grenada the grenadines and even saint vincent it's also going to be another windy day for the region so there we are seeing some of those darker purple and blue shadings and it's been windy over the past couple of days so it's going to be uh, windy yet again for parts of the bahamas the northern caribbean islands such as cuba hispaniola puerto rico the virgin islands especially as we head into later this evening uh, for puerto rico the virgin islands and maybe even parts of the northern leeward islands but then over to Central America, especially for the Bay Islands, Belize, thereabout, those winds are going to be kicking up somewhat as well. Elsewhere, it shouldn't be very, very active today. Maybe breezy, but nothing too crazy. And so, guys, that is basically what I wanted to share with you in this updated video. So, again, uh, we can see all that activity offshore Africa. We're having these robust uh, bursts of convection moving off the coast. And eventually, we're going to be having those tropical waves very, very soon. I'm expecting them to really be rolling out. Well, to start, maybe in May. And then, eventually, as the hurricane season commences, we're going to be seeing them a lot more every few days there will be a new tropical wave at least that is what is typical 
And of course, guys, there's been that earthquake as well, that magnitude 4.9 shaken yesterday. As I said, uh, earthquakes can happen at any time. They're unpredictable. So just reiterating that. And of course, I'll be keeping you posted on all that is happening as time goes by. And so that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this update video. I hope you found it to be very informative. However, if you have any questions, do feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise.